My name is Steve Piercy, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a pyramid project in PyCharm Professional. Let's get started. From the file menu or this here welcome screen, select new project. For the project type, select pyramid. Let's give our project a name and a location. PyCharm automatically fills in the virtual environment location and the project name. Uh, for template language, I'm going to select Jinda 2. And for a back end, I'm going to select SQL Alchemy for um, using an SQL Lite database. Click Create to start project creation. Now, right now, uh, PyCharm is creating a virtual environment. It will then install packaging tools and upgrade them. After it's created that, uh, after it's done that, it'll install Cookie Cutter and its dependencies. Then it'll run the Cookie Cutter and create a pyramid run and debug configuration. And finally pop open its README text file. Now, PyCharm's pretty cool. It runs the first three steps in this uh, text file for you. So we can pick up where it left off by running these commands in the terminal. So we'll go ahead and do that. This will install our project in editable mode and then um, install testing requirements. Next, we will generate an Alembic revision and then upgrade to that revision. Then we will initialize our database and populate it with data. Then we will run tests through PyTest. And we should get two tests pass. Hey, that's pretty cool. Two of them passed. That's successful. And then we can uh, start our project and view it in a web browser. So let's do that. Hey, that's pretty cool. That was easy. But hey, you know what? Maybe you don't like using uh, the terminal so much and you like using pretty things. So PyCharm has you covered. Uh, first, let's take a look at this database. To open it up, you just double click it. You can inspect schemas. You can see the tables. You can see the columns in a table. And you can actually see the data inside of your database. That's pretty cool. All right, well, what about running the project? Well, you can do that too. We have underneath our um, run and debug configurations, we can check uh, and make sure that we open up the browser when we start the run configuration. So I'll do that. Let's run it. And it should pop open a new window. Woohoo! That's pretty awesome. That's cool. Let's stop our configuration. Uh, we can also do some debugging if we like, but to do good debugging, we always have to set a breakpoint. So let's set a breakpoint right here and start running our debug configuration. Okay, that gets going. Pop open a window. Oh, hey, we can inspect the request. What's inside there? Lots of goodies. That's pretty cool. Let's step over this line of code. And then we can see... Oh, it generated a select statement, an SQL statement. That's really cool. Uh, we can inspect that too. But hey, let's keep going. Let's actually run the statement and execute it. And we can see oh, there's data there. Hey, that kind of matches up with our model. That's really cool. OK, OK, I'm super excited, but I'm going to stop right there. But wait, you know what? there's one more thing. Let me show you how you can run your tests within PyCharm. We're going to do a PyTest configuration in the project directory. We'll copy that and paste it just to be right there and click OK. And then we'll run our tests in PyTest. Look at that. We got our whole test suite uh, executed, two tests. We can also run just one test at a time if we want. That's pretty cool. Woohoo! All right. I can't get too excited. But anyway, I just wanted you to see, uh, I'm out of time, but go here to this web page, this GitHub page for more information and get a discount of 20% off of PyCharm Professional. Use the Plone 20 coupon code.